This is Eric from practicalservicedesign.com and I'm going to show you quickly how to use our OmniGraffle template to build the practical service blueprint. You should have downloaded by now the stencil file and the example template. The stencil file looks like this and has all of the layers and colors that are mentioned in the guide already set. You can add this straight to OmniGraffle and have the layers here available to drag on over into the blueprint that you're going to make. Here is the blueprint template already started. You can see it's aligned to a grid in the background and I have two columns already laid out that I can drag things into. The columns are on a second layer of the canvas so you can go in and lock them to prevent them from being moved around while you drag around the other layers. Using the stencil is easy. You just drag over what you want, in this case, a step definition. And I will say, drag over layer as our first step. And then say I wanna drag over a touch point box. Select that out of the stencil, drag it over, align it to the grid type in the touch point and we'll say here the OmniGraffle stencil. You could drag an image or a photo or anything that represents the touch point here into the darkened box. And then you just continue to add the layers beneath, line them up with the grid and start building your blueprint from top to bottom and left to right as you move across your use case. Sometimes if you don't grab an icon out of the stencil, you need to come over and grab it again. So that's the basics of how you use the stencil. So now let's look at an example blueprint and see what it's like in action. Here's a blueprint that I've prepared that goes through a fictional story of how you would blueprint going through the boarding area of the airport. So you can see I have step definitions across the top and the numbered steps, things that represent the touch points that I'm talking about in each step. So a smartwatch, a checkpoint QR scanner, the security conveyor area. Beneath each touch point, I have added in the layers that are relevant to that step definition. So for example, on step one, passenger arrives at the gate and pulls up their boarding pass on their watch, picture of the watch. In this case, the only actor is the passenger. Systems would include the smartwatch, the airline app, the airport flight notification system. There's some data around 8% of passengers use their watch for a boarding pass, a question, Critical moment on using watch using a watch app can be slow and delay lines. And then an idea around having an interface to keep the pass ready to board uh, before you get in line. This is a fictional scenario, so the layers are just here for an example, not supposed to be exactly how real life goes. You move on to step two, add in all your layers that are relevant to the attendant asks for ID and tells passenger to scan watch QR code on the reader, move on to step three, step four. Now step five you can see is a darkened column, which over here in the blueprint stencil is down in the bottom right. This means it's something that happens behind the scenes, behind the line of visibility that the um, customer, or in this case the passenger, doesn't see. So the only actor here is the TSA agent, and then the systems and policies and critical moments and all the other different types of layers um, are still applied to this column it's just that the customer doesn't interact with them. Now I'm going to go over and grab a picture to drag in to this touch point and one of the things about OmniGraffle that's nice is that if you drag an image into one of these darkened boxes or any shape it sizes it to the shape automatically. So now I have the picture of my touch points so I'm getting their shoes and I will just drag over the actor box. Call this 
passenger. The system here might be still the X-ray convey conveyor. And then the policy could be passengers are asked to move out of conveyor area. And you can see this one went onto a third line, it's a little bit taller, so you can drag your box a little bit bigger so it can fit. And just keep on adding layers as you fill in your column. So the last one here will be a question from us. It will be, can we add a designated shoe putting on area? And that's it. You would keep building this practical blueprint from left to right, top to bottom, adding in step definitions, adding in um, front stage, backstage, behind the scenes, uh, lighter dark columns, the colored layers, and at the end, you'll have a nice big detailed blueprint that gives you the story and the detail that goes end to end from left to right, and then the surface decor details that go from top to bottom. And you can get this example, our practical blueprinting guide, the Omnigraphal stencil and template, all from our website at practicalservicedesign.com.